Hi, welcome to this new series where we'll be learning to create a hoodie, a zip up hoodie for the game. So in the next few episodes we'll be creating the hoodie garment in Marvelous Designer. Then we'll be going through re-topologizing it using either ZBrush or Topo Gun. And then we'll finally be texturing it using Substance Painter. Okay, so in this first episode we'll be going over the creating the main body of the hoodie. So to get started, we're going to want to use the Create Garment tool and the one that will allow us to create as many points as needed. So first off, to start, we're going to start at the top of the shoulder here and go up to the neck. And then we're going to come round in a curve towards the center of the body. And then we're going to go straight down. And I'm going to go just a bit below the hips. I'm going to come back out just a little bit further to add some bagginess to it. And then I'm going to come up to just below that arm and curve round back to the shoulder. And that's going to create the basis of our outline. Now what I'm going to do is left click this, control C to copy it, and then right click and use symmetric paste. And symmetric paste is basically a mirror modifier, so anything I do on this side happens to the other side. So now I'm going to go ahead and convert these points to curves. As you can see, it's doing that for us on that side. And we're going to do the same for the collar. So now we have the basis of our hoodie. I'm just going to select these in the 3D view using shift and left click. Left clicking again to bring up the gizmo, and I've just pushed them back close to the body so that they sew up a lot easier. Next I'm going to copy one side and paste it using Control c and Control v overlay it on top of one of them currently and then I'm just going to move it off to the side in the 2D view after I've moved it backwards in the 3D. I'm going to flip it horizontally and move it across to the back and then in the 2D view I'm going to click unfold and delete that point so we have the back of our hoodie. And from here I'm just going to bring the curve down a bit. Next we're going to sew up these two, so we're going to use this segment sewing tool and do the inside to the inside, outside to the outside, inside to inside, and again outside to outside. And that will sew up the basis of the body, and again I'm just going to move the back closer together. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the band that connects across all parts of this garment and that will keep it together because right now when I simulate the hoodie goes off way to the side which isn't what it should do. So two things I'm going to do is I'm going to create the part where the zip will be and then I'm also going to create the part the collar part I just mentioned. So I'm going to select this quad tool and first off I'm going to actually check the length of this so that's 530.28 millimeters. Left click and it will bring up this box. So 538.22 that should be in the height sorry and then I'm going to go for a width of about 10 and then I'm just going to paste this across. And as you can see, I actually made that a little bit bigger than needed. This is 538, that's 530 point. So what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to drag this down by 0.06. So I get 538.28 and I want 530.28. Now I can select the bottoms, drag upwards right click and I can tell it the exact distance to move and there we have it now they're in line and we're just gonna sew these two together and then we'll sew them together like that so it's like the zip is joined together next thing we need to do is calculate the length this bottom lining needs to be so I've just deleted that point to give this one long edge and all I'm really do is gonna bring a calculator out and I'm just going to add this together. So 431.89 plus the two tens we have of that collar, 
which I can just add without looking. And then we can add 215.94 and then add another because it's symmetric. And the length of this band needs to be 883.77. So we get our quad out, we go 883.77 and a height of about 40 worked out pretty well. For this, I'm gonna drag it back flip it horizontally and I'm going to st stitch it from the backwards forwards just so that it's easier to manage. So we're going to start off from this side and we're just going to check which side goes to which. Okay so the left on this side is actually the right in the real side. As these are symmetric though we can just start by doing split into two lines and we're going to have it start at 10 so that this will join straight up to that zip lining then we'll need the 215.94 so we'll split again 215.94 for the shorter line 431.89 so 431.89 then we need our other 215.94 215.94 and that leaves us with 10 left over and like we said, it's mirrored, so that one needs to go there, then this to there. Okay, so now we'll do the same for that one. And we will stitch that together, and it's looking like the seams are crossing, um, but that's because it's all going to curve round together. And we're just going to make sure that one's right. Yep but I think the one on that side is wrong as it did cross. So you want them to cross in the 3D view, not the 2D view, sorry. Should have made that one a bit more clearer. Going to move these two collar lines down. And for ease of use, whilst we're stitching the first bit, I've stitched that zipper together. And we're just going to let it do its thing. Once it's all the way around and curved like that, stitch the ends together and it's all zipped up like the hoodie. Now the reason we did that is it will keep the entire hoodie together like I said and it's also how hoodies work in the real life but if you unstitch the bottom lining and the zip up so it was separate as you can see the hoodie now stays where it should and no longer goes off to the side. Okay so that will be it for this part of the tutorial in the next video we'll work on making the sleeves so like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it. If you want to see the next video, then stick around and hit that subscribe button and you'll be instantly alerted to when it's available. If you have anything else to say or any questions or just general chit chat, leave it down in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter, which is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And I'll see you then. Thanks guys. Bye.